Um, first, great, thank you. First topic um, is to review the meeting notes from last time. Did everybody get a chance to take a look at them? Any any, yes. any changes or updates? Okay, then I would say our meeting minutes from last week or, or last week, <laughs> last month are approved. So then um, moving on to the next topic is um, I would love to introduce our new council liaison since we lost Angela, which was sad. But we now have Shelly, which is great. So um, Shelly is going to be our, uh, and you see Shelly there in the corner. She is, she is going to be our liaison uh, for the rest of the year. So I told her there really isn't much she needs to do. Just be here if <laughs> we need something to help us out. But welcome, Shelly. Yes. Thank you. I I will endeavor to support you in any way I can because I do read all of the um, the meeting notes from what you're doing, and it's very clear that you are doing really important business for the town. And I even I was. I have no idea. I was talking about the technology committee and I to someone recently and I said, you know, based on everything I know, it's like they they are like our unpaid um, but super professional consultants who are actually making things happen. So um, thank you for what you do. Oh, you're welcome. I think that's all, all of us are, are basically have, have taken that approach. We're, we're invested in the success of the town and we all firmly believe that we can be leveraging technology and we've got a great mix of skills on the team. So um, that's all good. All right, let's go through. We really only have two big topics that to cover tonight, um, but we are gonna spend a bit more time on the website update. As far as the enterprise software, I think we had a um, good demo with Edmonds much better than the first time around. Um, and I have seen that we did get an updated um, quote from them, which is good. They've got some work to do if we decide to go that way. Mm -hmm. But um, based on further, um, uh, further discussion with some of what the other communities are doing, we're gonna take a look at one more. And that's Springbrook, right? Yes, yeah, Springbrook. Uh, Pine is using them and Pine is the only local community using them. They're, they're out of Portland. Yeah, they're out of Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. A lot of usage in the West. Um, and they seem Pine, various size communities. Yes. <clears throat> Pine is very happy with, with them. Um, and we, we thought that, especially when we weren't sure about Edmonds, right, and what we were dealing with, that it would make sense um, since we were made aware of Springbrook that we take a look at it before we make any final decision. And I think that's right. From my research online about them, I mean, I, I just I saw really nothing but good things. Yeah. At least is what I can find. Joe, are you familiar with them uh, at all? Okay. I haven't heard one before. But... Okay. Is there a ballpark on costs just out the gate from Pine? Um, I know Trisha is 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 going to be setting down is working to set up time with the folks from Pine to talk through it. So no, we don't have a ballpark on costs at this point in time. Um, you know, my perspective is uh, you know let's let's take one more look yeah. at Springbrook since Pine is very happy with them. Similar saw you know kind of a little bigger, but you know it's. It's similar. And I saw they had some smaller communities and they seem to be adjusting. You know, they're not for real big guys. It's, mm -hmm. it's more in our wheelhouse. Well, Pine would be less residents, but similar. Yeah, I think the, the budget would be similar to ours, fewer residents. I don't believe that they're using the tax. Um, I don't think so. I, module, if I, if I remember right. That's um, correct. Okay. But they, uh, it seems as if Springbrook offers the, the core elements that we're looking for, um, not so much on the planning and building side, but we have alternate, some We've good got alternatives, alternatives there. there that would potentially work through. Yeah. So, so um, 
And that's one of the things that I'll be talking with their manager a little bit more as, as we go through this, um, any interface between the planning building side and the finance side. Yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a good one to work through. So that's kind of that's where we are. I, and I don't. I mean, I don't think the Edmonds price at the end is is unreasonable based on similar systems for number of employees and revenue. I mean, yeah. that's it's I, not out of the ballpark for what a what a private the, company would pay yeah, for the, a system like the that. The one year, the first year cost, I think, is a very reasonable, or what they refer to as a first year cost. The concern that Trisha and I have is the annual cost seems like it's maybe a little bit higher than what we would have expected. Um, I, again, I mean, if you're doing this in yeah. medical, a lot of other industries, similar revenue, yeah. similar employees, it's 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 in that ballpark. Yeah. So, and I, I think for me personally, it's a it's sticker shock because it isn't what I was used to yeah. to paying. Right. Um, it's closer to what Trisha was used to paying, although uh, she, Trisha, you you paid less than this, right? We we did pay less. We got into the market in 2008 with Tyler, with Munis and Energov, and between the two, I want to say we paid close to 60000 62000 a year. Oh, wow. So in, in this ballpark, but I was I was expecting Edmonds to be a little lower. Yeah, and that's again why I think with Springbrook, so we so we've got two potential good options, you know. And freedom is out there, you know. That is something. Well, and again, if it's double what you're paying today, but your productivity and everything else that yeah. comes into play. I mean, yeah. if, if getting payments faster right. and less legwork, it it may very well you may save the difference in, right. in time. So yeah, and staff cost. Yeah. And, you know, there's exactly. there's there's a lot of things we need to look at, but. But I think having two good systems, and I think you know, would be would be, and especially the fact that we've got pine right down the road. Well, there's it's you know, we'd love to have that user group. Yeah, we're at least in one that we know could work. Right, we have one that we know that we we're feeling feeling pretty good about, which is yeah. which is good. So that's a start. Let's. I'd love to see if we have two, and then you know can work through some of the details. So does the uh, outside of the financials and the other kind of like definite things we want out of a software suite. Is there a communications package that we might be able to leverage with Springbook that you're aware of? Okay, so you got and me does on Pine, that. Does Pine do that? I don't know, but the, see, this, the nice thing with Pine is we've got somebody we can trust, you know, yeah. to ask yeah. and, and really see what, what, they're, what pieces they're using. Mm -hmm. How does it work in with their website? They're Civic Plus, Joe, do you know? I'm looking them up. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, I to do, say do you know if they bastardized it or? I don't know. No. See, this is you know. No, we haven't. We haven't gotten that far with it. Okay. But, but it'd be it's a it'll be a good. Uh, some, somebody local. Yeah. Which is yeah. what I really like. It's always helpful yeah. to get the real scoop, not that a sales rep would go up there and look over their shoulder like. Right. Do do right. Not that a sales rep would try to. Yeah, sure. Civic Plus. So that they are Civic Plus. I still think, okay, so then, so anything else, any other questions on the enterprise software? I do actually. Yes, ma'am. So um, I'm in, here, I'll put my video on. Um, so, and I'm just throwing this out there. One of the things that, um, and it's actually going to be a topic on the town council meeting on Monday, is you know we've been giving some thought. Um, we don't know if we have support yet, of course, but of creating some kind of a stormwater utility, and it would involve some billing services. So I guess this might be the Bob because he's been part of this process. Is would this would new enterprise software of this nature make if we did something like as by way of example? the stormwater utility, would this facilitate, you know, an ease of, you know, billing something like that? Um, Jen, I'm going to speak generally because I, I can't remember specifics from one vendor to the other. The, the nice thing about a Shelly is that these <clears throat> 
companies have a uh, utility billing option mm -hmm. by and large, or we may be able to, depending on what we would decide, include that with a tax bill. So, right. you know, if, if you're looking at that regard, if you're trying to save postage money and everything else, you may want to look at that. Um, but most of these have some type of a billing or utility billing option um, or worst case scenario, an accounts receivable uh, and billing option in general that we could use. So, but I think we'd be fine either way. I just, I, I just mm -hmm. thought that it was worth bringing up from the perspective yeah. of this is a, we'll know more on Monday, I guess, but um, this is a potential future state and uh, those how to do it is not yet determined, but we certainly we'd want software that accommodated it in some form or fashion. So that's all. I, yeah, I think we can make it work. Okay. You know, with all the packages we're looking at, mm -hmm. you, you know, Joe, you know, some well, of these. I mean, I'm, I'm looking like the, the lowest one was 1500, the highest one was seven. So I'm guessing even if you had to add a utility billing. You're going to be somewhere in in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, the real estate tax one six. Yeah. yeah. So so we just we we'll just need to make sure we've got that included, depending on how things unfold. I mean, because with the with the stormwater probably utility, probably probably the easier one. Yeah. And that's a real estate tax bill. Yeah, that yeah. might be. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you. You got it. Any other questions? Okay, so then, then did, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Did we cross any uh, vendors off the list since we uh, since we met last? I don't. I, I think we're just putting them kind of off to the side. You know, free, freedom was the other one. You know, I think we've kind of put them on. So what, and Tyler, I mean, I think Tyler free, freedom and Tyler. Doves, Dinner Doves probably not on the table. Trisha, am I right or wrong? We discounted the Tyler product because they don't have Pennsylvania property tax. And if we can't add the real estate tax, we're going to have to go down this road again with RBA probably in the next five or six years. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so that's the so Tyler's off. Yeah. So we're, we're trying to stay focused on those solutions that include that tax software because that was one key reason we were moving forward right should we note that somewhere in our meeting minutes um, when we do that i thought we um well, we can go ahead you can go ahead we can note it again for that that we have decided officially yeah have we notified them do we want to notify them i mean so this is a pub this is so this is being recorded so it's public if they wanted to find out they could find yeah. out should we notify them before this is before we post this we recording yeah, we can do that. Okay. That would be good. Okay. Anything else then on the enterprise software update? No. Okay. Um, next topic is what I'd like to do is spend a little bit of time. Craig did send some, um, some suggestions on the plan. That's what you've got the second page that you have here um, that kind of talks about what the plan might be because what I, I wanted to do was go through this and to get Joe your input and Lamar get your input as well so that we've got a document so that then you know we can help the town with a kind of a plan to start scoping this out. So I'll give you just a second to read it. Thank you again. Great. I made a couple of little minor thoughts. But um uh, you know this kind of was kind of a thought keep fogging up, just hold it out here, um, as to where we would go. So what do you all think? What are we, what are we missing on this? Because again, I'd like to be able to wrap this up and give it to, you know, Bob and, and Trisha and, and Mindy to figure out, okay, this, all right, this is gonna be when we move, when we're ready to move on the website, which is of course, after we get done with the enterprise software, yeah, because um, 
Shelly, we figured we don't want these two things kind of going in parallel. We got we need to make a decision on the enterprise software because that might modify what the suggestion is for the website. Um, so that's kind of the thought, but I want to make sure we had at least a plan while we're kind of in a little bit of a hold mode on the enterprise software. Um, one Makes thing sense. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, cap, um, content management, do we, we will use the same sources that we have currently, or is there going to be, uh, and that's that's under here, as number one, under your features. Um, yeah. Is that a consideration that we want to bake into the cake when we make that determination? I, I mean, there's, there's people who provide content yeah, to municipalities, there's some right. people we can assign to it. Well, I think that's going to need to be. One way or another. It is going to add to the cost. Um, yeah. And I and I'm cognizant about you know it'd be nice to have a you know, a gold plated system, but I think you know we could do a bronze plated system and it would look a heck of a lot better <laughs> than we have today. Yeah. So I mean, and that's another thing is what do we what if we if we kind of do maybe a step one and a step two, you know, step one is that. What, what are the decisions that we have to decide up front that are going to be would be really hard to retrofit? What are the goals of the site? Are they the same as they are now? Well, I mean, I think maybe that's I think that's probably some of the questions is is you know we had talked about doing a McCandless and me, you know, to get feedback yeah. from citizens. Um but nobody really uses it. So. Yeah, see, that's what it is. <laughs> Yeah, I think there needs to become some polling you know, moving towards maybe do we want to poll people? Well, that's kind of what don't we don't use the site now. Yeah, that's um yeah, okay. We're, the chicken, we're talking about chickens and eggs. <laughs> no, we're done talking about chickens. Fine. <laughs> um I'd love to get feedback from some folks, I know you did, you got feedback from some of the users. Yeah, neighbors and friends and stuff. Yeah, neighbors and friends. And I've gotten feedback um, as I've been out canvassing. Because we talked some about really it. good standards, but again, how much money do we want to put into spending for those things if we're only getting 17 to 20%? Now, would a new website change that? Do we have confidence or do we have like a population that just that doesn't use? Well, my personal that, opinion no is, my is. personal opinion is, and, and Shelly, this is going to be, some, this is one of the reasons this is going to be, I think, a big project is if we do do all this and relaunch something, we're going to need a communications, we're going to need a PR strategy. Yes. Y you know, how do we, how do we, um, get the word out. How do we start driving more folks to it? Um, and I've talked before, potentially, you know, leveraging some of the interns from LaRoche, you know, is to, mm -hmm. you know, or do, doing an internship with LaRoche for the communication. I, I just think this, this is not just the technology piece and, and but we're going to have to do something in order to start driving more interest. Otherwise, we're going to spend time and money and we're going to get 21% of the population that gets I, to I it. I do like the tried and true uh, website approach when it, of holding what you want ransom on the website to train them into getting yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it. <laughs> if you want more information, go to the web. You know, it's like, okay, you want to know yeah, what this is about, go to the website. And everything is go to the website for the first, you know. But, you know. but we do, and they just they can't find anything, so they give up. No, that's the thing. If we fix that problem, there it is. It is. It's, yeah. it's hard to find. Yeah. It's just it's just hard to navigate, and it's not pleasing to the eye, you know. Um, all right. So so we we've, we've had some discussion, but so let's think about this plan because we this is what we keep kind of going round and round on. Um, with this, with the step, we've got we've got the features, and I think the features what we're looking for is is good. We're probably we probably are gonna if, if we consolidate everything is probably would need some sort of content management system again at least a, a basic one um, would be my guess. It's by a third party, good security here. Absolutely, 
market share and templates and we can add the plugins is there any other features that we should be considering at least putting down on paper as potential for things we want to look at as we as we're redesigning this joe anything else you think of i mean i'm just i'm thinking are we kind of maybe maybe doing some legwork up front that maybe we don't need to do much much like we did with the erp mm -hmm. i mean bob's given us a lot of websites with the different vendors that right. he likes. So can we go to Civic Plus and some of these and say, even if it's not specifics, like what does it take from, from you to get this website? It yeah. doesn't have to be a pure quote, but right. you know, what do they have? What bits and pieces of what you're doing do they have? And then start piecing it together because all the websites he sent are pretty good and you can find your way around. And I, I, since I was on Pines, Pines has a, how do I, and you click on it and the permit, yeah. all the stuff that you can't find. So, I mean, that in theory, you could do that with what's there now, mm -hmm. but my guess, I mean, I think from everything we understood, changing, changing the template is, easy as long as you pick another template that basically is exactly the same as the one they have right but we're, they're still going to charge us for it yeah so that's kind of that shelly that's the other thing with this is we're bringing up to speed is if we make adjustments to the website we currently have we have to spend money and the question is are we spending money that should be spent elsewhere you know on upgrading things yeah i'm having i mean the first thing you brought up is what comes to my mind um because I I've always found it semi depressing to see the data points on people who are looking at Savvy Citizen or McCandless and Me, which is really kind of sad. We have Instagram now as well as the website, and I don't know. Um, I mean, how do we do we know like do do other um, municipalities of our kind of size have is it that they have more engaged citizenry who are using that as their tool to be more engaged? Or is it really, are we sitting at a place with maybe, you know, you're the experts, maybe not the best website in the world, but, you know, other places aren't getting much more, you know, attention to it either. So, you know, it's like, a it is the chicken and the egg, you know? Right. <laughs> but, I mean, what do we do? We know that there are communities, um, at least in our, you know, that are comparable, like in our area, right. that have huge followings on their website that we want to achieve. I mean, I don't know that it's about followings, but if you go to a website and you can't find what you want, chances are the next time you're not going to go back to the website because you couldn't find it the first time. So. I mean, you can put, I mean, the website is, is less about pushing stuff out to people and it's more about them pulling it at, at this point. I mean, you go to, you, usually you go to a website and you're looking for something like Facebook, Twitter, everything else is kind of push out the things that you want people to see because there's more, there's more engagement there, but, you know, simple things like, do I need a permit for a shed? Do I need a permit for a deck? If you go and you can't find it, you call it, call town hall, you ask them and they say, oh yeah, you need it. Well, that's the end of it. If you need it again, you're gonna call back, you're gonna call town hall again, mm -hmm. if it's not easy to find, so. You also wanna drive them to the website. We have a, a plan for 2022 to send out welcome postcards to drive new residents to the website for the welcome packet is like a virtual welcome packet. So that'll be an option to help, you know, with the chicken versus the egg, you know, what is it content or is it the population? And hopefully some of those items, if, if we drive them with postcards for things like what usually they get in an email version, will that increase the, the hits? I don't know the answer to that for sure. It should. We're hoping. <laughs> It should. Um, okay, and, and by the way, Joe, to your point, I went back through all of the notes that we had on the various websites and that's what's under four. 
Um, can we do Mike Stein? Can you could you send him a soft copy of this? Oh, you can't send him. Bob, can you, I don't know if you have it. You have a Google Drive? We can obviously. No, no I can find it from my phone. Yes, no, I should. I can, I can. From my phone. Okay. All right. Yeah, because Mike, you're probably wondering what in the world are they talking about? Uh, <laughs> what we're doing is what we're doing is actually going through the website stuff that um, Craig had sent, trying to frame it out and make sure that we've got got a bit of a plan here. So they, these were all of the ones that you know I went through, Bob, all the websites that you had sent us mm -hmm. and some of the other ones we looked, and these are the platforms that we had uh, that we had looked at. And then, of course, we've got, you know, the suggestion of WordPress in here, too. Maybe know. I have it. You already have it? Okay. Mike, I just sent it to you. Great. Well, that's a, that's a great idea, you know, Joe, Mike getting back. Talking, we can't oh, we can't, yeah, we can't hear you. There you go. Hello? Yes. Okay, I was just saying thank you for sending that. I apologize for being late. With the pandemic and getting classes started again, I've been working unbelievable hours, so I'm sorry. That's sorry okay. We understand. Still a little crazy. For all of you too, I'm sure. Yes. I got it, Bob. Thank you. You're welcome. Shelly, did you get it too? Yes, I did. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Okay, well, I still think we need to do, maybe one of the things we think of is, is number one, we do need to um, come up with a new site map. That, that no matter what we do, we still have to have an updated map for how we want this site and what's gonna be where and what all gets included kind of things. Um, I do, well, my personal opinion is, is that we should include at least Savvy Citizen, the functionality of, if there's a way to include this functionality of Savvy Citizen into this, because oh, yeah. I'd like to stop paying for that. Mm -hmm. And also having the, this, the regular annual activities front and center and yeah. for someone to engage when they get on the website or at least get information. Right. Like, hey, did you know there's a technology advisory? meeting today. <laughs> um, I, so I'd like to definitely have Savvy Citizen as part of it. The McCandless and Me is another separate package. Um, and that is, and, and so I don't know, that, that's when we were looking for feedback, you know, community feedback. That, there's really good polling packages that you can they'll uh, do a content style sheet that matches the website that it would go out and do aggregates and analysis and send the reports based upon polls. What are we, free, so. what, for, for McCandless and me, how long of a contract did we sign, Bob? Do you remember? For the pricing is three years. It was a three year. All right, is there a functionality in that that we are not using yet? Because uh, right now it's pretty simple as to what we're getting. I think there, there is some more functionality than what we've been using. Yeah. Um, but I don't believe there's a polling feature. Well, there's a dialogue. There's the dialogue the forum. Q and A thing. Here, yeah. So. I believe there is a polling option for it, Bob. Is there? I believe. I believe so. I thought. I thought that was the first thing I heard that. That was kind of its primary function was to get feedback from the it, it is. Um, and we signed that in 2020, right? Yeah, we're one year through. Yeah, more than one year. A little east. So we're heading towards halfway through. Yeah. Okay. So we're starting year two of three of three. When you click on it today, it says join the dialogue, but when you click on the community space, it just spawns another window. Oh, great. And we don't, we're not, ho they're hosting that, correct? Yeah, bang the table. Yeah. Host it. 
Bang the Tape is hosting it. So they've got a little bit of a bug at this point. Um, all right. But what, what are your all thoughts about McCandless and me? Are you happy with it? Well, I mean, the one thing that I'll say is that it has gotten information out of, it's given us a platform to get some information out. I'm mm -hmm. not happy in the respect that it doesn't have as much traffic as I'd like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the information there, when we put together a project, you know, right. like we have with the, the shooting range, um, you know, we're getting, you know, less than 10% potentially of the town looking at that. Right. And, you know, it, so I'm not sure we're getting the information out the way we would like. Um, that, and that may just be a function of us continually through social media outlets, reminding people that they can go onto the site for additional information on whatever the topic is. You know, it, it may be a more of a communication uh, issue for us getting the word out and continuing to remind people. Um, one of the things that they told us at Bang the Table that we have to be very aware of is that you need to keep that fresh. You need new projects. You need reasons for people to go back. Right. So that's, that's been a little bit hard for us to well, well, then I, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, sorry I, no, go ahead Shelly no I I just I, I but guys I'm just telling you up front I'm not the technology maven by any means so I'm just more like a user so <laughs> but you know part of it like I don't know is Facebook are, are we utilizing Facebook enough where we can have links you know we can get that fresh new stuff on there and get the links to, you know, whatever platforms we want to get them to, whether it's McCandless and me or, you know, whatever. I, I just, I just don't know if we're leveraging it enough or is it already, a, is Facebook becoming a platform that's not, I mean, I don't think our Facebook following is that great either, by the way, but. It's not. Yeah. Um. Okay. And I, you're right. There's there's other things we can do. I, my, so so my thought is after listening to this is that replacing savvy citizen should be definite. And I think depending on what the what the platform we you know if we could do something similar to what we have with McCandless and me, that that would be a good thing to you know that would be a nice a nice to get rid of the rid of the platform. I do like the idea. And I and following like the oh dear and some of the other, you know, there's been some decent discussions, but mm -hmm. it's just it's just a teeny group. And that could very well because just people aren't aware. Now people are aware of the deer map. That was, you know, those who got into this and the rest of it, but it but as you said, it 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 get it's gotten a little stale. Mm -hmm. And then you've got links as to where you, you know, other things that need to be it, it's just it's another part of this is it, it, it's another thing that has to be updated. Yes, it's all about the content. And so, which is a staffing issue. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's got to be there to update things. And right. that's what I'd like to, if we can streamline mm -hmm. some of the places that need updates, I think that would be good. And it's what, 18 grand a year? No, it, we, we're we able to, it's around 13. So it's a thousand and dollars. And citizen is like two grand a year, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there's half the there's half the difference for the ERP, but yeah. thirteen grand for something that people aren't are barely using. And honestly, I think you could get and uh, I've mentioned this before a LaRoche intern. You can drop thirteen grand on them, and they'll give you content for days. Well, on our existing Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, or whatever, you right. can say, "Hey, look, you need you're responsible for a quota of." New content every and month, and we'll pay you. Do or do an unpaid internship. Even, yeah, even this, <laughs> you know, but I'm, you know, I'm thinking, right. run out, take a couple, pick, like, you know, throw a picture up of the shooting range, go out there and take a picture. Yep. 
10 pictures of shooting range, put a rounder on there and agreed. Yeah, refresh it. Okay, so so I think the answer is definite replace with and if we and we should be able to replace McCandless and, and yeah, because Bob, I think yeah, I think it's it's nice. I just it's it's a plug-in on a different content manager. Right. Yeah. Is. We can use Twitter and Facebook. And we, and I think we can do there. some other. We can do some other things. I think you know our the selling point for us as a staff was that there were a lot of possibilities. You know, looking at at the site and we, you know, you could do polls. You could you do, do so. Uh, there's a lot that you can do to it, but it it requires that constant. Well, it does. But I think what we're, what you're hearing from us is to yeah. say if we pick the right platform for the we can we can do which yeah. which wasn't an which wasn't an option 18 to 18 months two years ago when right. we started to try and do things right. and, so, I'm, and i'm fine with as long as we don't lose some of the functionality yeah wherever we go yeah probably all the ones on the list are all using wordpress mm -hmm. and there's a million plugins that'll do the same stuff for either free or virtually free okay and then the bigger thing is, even if you know if it's John or whoever doing it, and he leaves, you can get people that understand WordPress and can work that stuff. In addition to whoever the vendor is, mm -hmm. is anybody here out of a not agreement that we can safely say that we don't need to renew a contract with uh, Bang the Table going forward after this contract expires? Anybody advocating assuming, that we should? Assuming that we have something in place, <coughs> I have no argument. And so that's that'll be due year and in a year and a half. And so we should, which would be the end of 22, beginning of 12, it's like early 23, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And we and we'll be far enough along the road on this. We can say by then. with relative certainty that we're going to a um, seek a we have a deadline for seeking a content yeah. manager for uh, you know, to be determined, new website and be going to end our con. You know, this was the last contract with Bang the Table. Yep, provided they it can, you know, we get the right website that can do everything, right? Okay. So, are we, do we, are we kind of set with a plan that, yes, we're going to, we're going to combine these two. The plan is to combine these two platforms into whatever content management hosting system we use. I'm hearing from everybody that, you know, WordPress, the fact that it's got, it's, you know, gives us a lot more flexibility with all those plugins. Yeah, I mean, and then you plan too. I mean, there's Joomla, there's Drupal. And yeah, there are probably the three big ones that you could get people left and right to be able to deal with. Okay. I think I'd like to endorse the, the notion of an intern too. And I, I think an intern could even start as, as we all proceed in this kind of investigation and, and mapping it out, because that's terrific expert, that's terrific experience for a student to acquire. I don't think we'd even have to pay someone because mm -hmm. to be able to put on their resume that they participated in a search and identified a solution and then helped to configure it, that's that looks great on a resume. That's valuable yeah. for them. We could just ask some of the professors over there to say, yeah. hey, can you make that part of your curriculum? Yeah. We can work through that when we're ready to launch. So, but I think we should be doing some more with the rush anyway. But anyway, okay. Who will you? Will the tech committee oversee that intern, or will that be overseen by John? I mean, what is that expectation? And then, and then who would do the work once the intern's gone? Well, that's kind of the thing we're going to need to really get into is to who's going to be maintaining this is is it going to be john are we going to have a series of interns are we going to if you have a series of interns you're not going to have consistent correct and you're yeah, you correct so you know my initial take on it is that we would need to have john be that oversight of the intern but there needs i think there needs to be some direction or the intern and John, what the goal of the oh absolutely, and that that's that that we would definitely do. Does John have the bandwidth to do some some more of this? Um, he's a great guy, so don't get me wrong. You know, no, I mean, it, it, that's, a, that's about a the legitimate bandwidth. question for any of us whether we have a bandwidth to do it. Um, you know, there are times where he 
he would have that capability. There are times where he doesn't. You know, I I need to to be aware of that. And if we're streamlining some of the things that he does on a weekly or monthly basis onto the website, he won't be double doing. Hopefully, True. that's True. what I'm, Trisha. That's what I'm hoping is that if we do this all right. It should streamline some things for him that he doesn't have multiple places to try and update and, yeah. you know, and it's make it simpler for him. The, the content management and WordPress, whichever, whichever way we go with some of this should make it that he doesn't have to be the only one that can post things. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it's like editing a Word document at that point mm -hmm. to some degree. Mm -hmm. So drop a picture, know, throw in some paragraphs and publish. Yeah, I mean, so there should be other people that get trained on how to post something on the website and just post it. We would just have to set guidelines, you know, right. yeah. and give them a one sheet that says, hey, you can do this, don't ever do this, 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 yeah. and this. And don't uh, hit this button. Yeah, <laughs> don't hit this button. Yeah. Okay. So would we? I would suggest us determine the time commitment for the intern, and you know, just to have a, hey, it's going to be X many hours a week or month or whatever. Well, but are we ready to do this at this point in time? No. Considering, uh, yeah, not. yeah. I think that's something that needs to be added to the considerations when we want to swap out our content. Uh, we've talked a little bit about it. I know they're not here in the canvas, but. Uh, Pittsburgh Technical College, since mm -hmm. they operate yeah. on quarters and an internship is part of the whole, yeah. uh, basically all their degrees, timing wise, it might be easier to get because they actually require it. And it kind right. of and now, and class they... for those uh, 10 weeks, 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, that and, and it's rolling. You can do it whenever and it's they make it pretty easy. So, if you wanted one to to do maybe the site map, maybe you give them the other the websites that you've sent and just kind of go tell them to go out, look at those, look at the um, structure, and then kind of merge them all into one kind of concise design, design structure that makes the most sense. Okay. Yeah, right. We can get hold of La Roche PT C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've used Pittsburgh Technical too, and they're always hungry for places to put their people. So yeah. I think that's a great idea. <clears throat> yeah. Well, and we could potentially, you know, maybe try and kick something off. If if we think on the enterprise, Trisha, when when are you going to get together with the folks from Pine? October 21st. Okay, so end of this month. So I think we should have a direction on the enterprise software, you know, probably by end of November, you know, at least a direction as to which way we're headed so that we might very well be able to kick off this website project beginning of 2022. Okay, if we're going to have John involved, mm -hmm. my suggestion would be that we look at a target date in the second quarter of 22 okay only because of, he has some personal things that will be going on okay in that first quarter that will occupy his his definitely occupy that's, that's his fine. bandwidth yeah <laughs> well then then okay so good so we so we have made this we've made a couple of decisions tonight a is is we're look we're going to be looking and the second quarter should still give us time to understand the direction of where we are and the whole with the whole McCandless and me with the contract, you know, and, and the rest of that. So I think we're still okay. Um, so the decisions are number one is we are definitely going to look at replacing Savvy Citizen and McCandless and me. We got to have the same functionality. Number two is that we're going to start this in second quarter of next year. Does everybody agree? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. okay. And, the, and I think we have, so what I would ask is if anybody finds other web, you know, other municipality websites you like, or, you know, other, you know, just let's just keep 
kind of poking around at things, similar size organizations, and if we've got anybody else to look at besides what we've got listed here. Okay. Then, okay, any other comments then on the whole website process? Okay. Thank you guys for spending some time on that. Any other business, Bob? Anything else on your agenda? Nothing at this point. Trisha, do you have anything else? No, um, maybe you can put a, a couple uh, suggestions to Bob on amounts to put in for the website for 22, if you're gonna start moving on it in second quarter. Um, but obviously we'll have the extra 13 if we're gonna suspend some of those other services. Right, that's, that's the plan. And if we can leverage interns to do a lot of the lifting, that'll be good. Okay. Yeah. Great, thank you. Yep. All right, team, anything else? What other products do we have that we haven't talked about? We really don't, I mean, this is, we're, we're gonna kinda, Get to that, and then then it's a matter of looking to see where else Bob do we have money. <laughs> ah, there you go. Um, yes. How about the, how about the body cams? Do we have? Did we get the grants? We have, we have not heard yet. Okay. Um, isn't there isn't there new money with that through the American Recovery Plan through the county? Well, we yeah. We have a couple of different funding sources that we've applied for. Right, I know you've got we two. Have right. a couple of others that we're, we're looking at as options if we didn't get those grants. So, you know, we are moving forward one way or the other with that. Right. Yeah. So that will be good moving forward. Do you know when? Um, we probably, once we know about the federal grant, then we'll we'll take whatever remedial action we need to if, if it comes to that. Um, I think one way or the other, we we would like to be able to um, say before the end of the year or you know place out of order or whatever we need to do or the very beginning of uh, twenty twenty two just because we do anticipate some supply chain delays there. So the grants are gonna cover the cameras themselves. What about the infrastructure behind them? The rest of it is budgeted. The rest of it is budgeted. To the storage and the uh, real-time uploads, things like that, that's considered? Yeah. Okay. Is that what we'll get if the grant money comes through? No, they should, well, the grant will just be the, the grant will pay for the cameras themselves and then we just budget out the rest. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Wait, we have spec for that already. Yeah, the, camera, the cameras were the bulk of it. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of it's not that it's not that expensive. Again. We have for, we have specs from the vendors. Okay. And you're pretty much you know the vendor that you need to go with. Yeah, we we would like to. So, yeah, if I'm remembering right, the cameras were about two grand a piece and, yeah. and the store, the back end storage was 10 or 15. Yeah, I, the total comes out to, with everything that first year around between 80 and 90, I think. Okay. What else, is there anything else? I mean, with, with, this, with the Recovery Act and the money that's coming down, what else is there? Um, we, we are budgeting funds for phone system. Right. So we'll move forward with that. Do you need anything um, else from us on that? I don't believe we do at this point. Okay. Um, some good information from you folks and um, be, between you folks, my old IT director, um, PM, you know, we've gotten some, some good information there, at least to get us through right. into the budget process. Right. Um, I think from a budgetary standpoint, we're in good shape moving forward for next year. What was the target Q1, Q2? Um, for the phones? Mm -hmm. um, in so many ways, they can't come soon enough. Um, that 22. is 
quarter two? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Quar I think we said quarter two potentially for the phones to start. Yeah. Okay. Might also be supply chain. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna days. say because chips and yeah. Polycoms yeah. are pretty bad. Yeah. They're the good ones. So. Yeah. And don't go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the good ones. Yeah. Sitting in the golf, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So much of feels like Trisha and I have had the same conversation on so many different fronts, whether it's equipment, vehicles, you know, technology. Right. We're not sure what we're gonna end up paying for in 22 and what we're not. So it's an interesting exercise in budgeting when we're not entirely sure what we'll get. Right, right. Okay. You know, one thing, and I, I don't know, Shelly, is familiar with this. This Craig, this would be up your alley. We are looking at um, we're talking to a Professor Pitt to see if there's any possibility of being able to implement solar power or solar panels. Oh, good. Uh, here at the building to offset some of the electrical costs. Really, really, really early into it to see right. um, what we might be able to do, but. Uh, that's something that you may hear more of as we move forward. Good. Is that just for this building? This building, public and public works, uh, probably the the campus the, area. The campus. Yeah. Um, it depends on if we can partner with a developer to get some of the tax advantages for him and right. you know the, through a lease back right type arrangement. But, okay. Um, interesting scenarios and. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Got it. Anything else? Gosh. Okay. All right. Do I hear a motion? So, Shelly, I do do one thing with Robert's rules of order. It says, do I hear a motion to adjourn for this evening? <laughs> do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Meeting is so adjourned. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Thank Good you night. all. Good night. All right.